Good morning. My name is Sitaram. I'm one of the directors of Zeal Education and I wanted to talk to you about a very exciting program called the Joy of Sharing, which we are going to be doing again this year. We did this about two years ago with participation from many schools and it was a tremendous success, which is why we are repeating it this year. I want to describe to you what is this program and how it will benefit you, your school, your students and also the target students which I'll be talking about. Basically, this program has arisen from a very simple observation. Uh, in this country, we have a dichotomy of uh, schools. On the one hand, we have the private uh, schools which have excellent facilities, very high teacher to student uh, ratios. And uh, what happens as a result is you see that the students get excellent exposure to the most modern ideas in science and mathematics. On the other hand, you have the vast government school network, which comprises of perhaps more than 90% of all schools in the country, where conditions are anything but ideal. Now, ideally speaking, of course, these two should be somehow collaborating with one another, but that has not happened. We have centers of excellence, all right, schools of excellence, but then there remain islands of excellence. Their presence in a particular location has had absolutely no effect on the rural school or the government school system nearby. And this program, Joy of Sharing, was a venture to try and reduce this disparity to some extent. There are also some other issues which I'll be talking about later on, which this also helps in uh, alleviating. Now, uh, basically, what is this Joy of Sharing program? Uh, the idea is very simple. An elite school like your school would join in with Zeal Education and would form more than five teams of five students each. So more than 25 students. The minimum is 25. Now what happens is each of these teams under our guidance would create a one hour science and maths show. Now I'm emphasizing the word show. This is not a class. Our idea is not to teach rural children, science and mathematics, that they are being taught in school in any case. But the idea is to have a show which will fascinate them and which will change their viewpoint regarding science and mathematics. That's the intention. So what happens, as I said, is that the school, the teams in the school create these one hour shows. We will assist in that either physically or through electronic media, whichever way is convenient. And then what happens is you see that they pick up each of these teams, pick up a garment school in the neighborhood and goes and performs the show there. Now, what's the idea behind this? How does it benefit the garment school? Well, that should be fairly obvious because the children there will get an exposure which they have never had before in their life. What about your school children? Oh, there are two or three benefits there. One is, of course, your children will be creating this show. Uh, one of them perhaps will be doing the comparing, one of them will be doing the actual experiment, someone else may be doing explanations, whatever. The point is they will be doing it themselves and that's a very nice experience. The second important point is that sadly speaking, today, hardly anyone does science experiments. As far as the government schools is concerned, they don't have the equipment. As far as many of the private schools are concerned, they prefer to just show the experiment on YouTube or on the internet. Now, as any scientist will tell you, science is not done on YouTube. Science is not done on uh, Google. Science has to be done by actually performing experiments yourself. It could be a very simple thing. It need not be something very, very complex or, uh, you know, uh, mind boggling or something. It could be something very simple, including something as simple as taking a uh, pipe and re rotating it and listening into the sounds which it produces. Now, that's tremendous fun. And you actually realize what are the issues with doing experiments only when you actually try them out. You realize then that something which looks so simple on YouTube isn't really that simple. That's something which all of us have experienced. And your children will be experiencing that. So it's a win-win kind of a situation. Your children gain because of the novel experience, because of the experience of interacting with the underprivileged students of learning how they live. The underprivileged students in turn will interact with your students. They will also get an amazing insight into the world of science and mathematics. Okay, And 
we would also be giving other stuff like for example we also provide some takeaways so you will be leaving those takeaways in the school so that those children can then use those takeaways to make simple models or to solve puzzles and so on so they will remember you and your school for a long time and hopefully this interaction which your teams will be having with the schools will only be the beginning of a long interaction and the idea here is then that this way your school will not just be a center for excellence it will be a seed for distributing this excellence spreading this excellence in its neighborhood too don't you think that's great children would be sharing what they love most playing playing with science and mathematics i have been playing with science and mathematics for i don't know how many years now and i have enjoyed every moment of it i want your children and the underprivileged children to also have the benefit of enjoying science and mathematics do register the details are given along with this video please do uh, contact me for more details and we'll be happy to help you out with this thank you so much